Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Kelsey. Hi. She's back. Hi, Kelsey. Welcome back. Welcome so good looking. Back. You're welcome. Hi, Except for man. Steve. He wasn't here last time. Oh. You're so good looking. Yeah. <laughs> now he gets to have it. <laughs> what you been up to? Oh, uh, you know, same shit, different day. Awesome. That's why you get invited back, you know? Because you come in here and you machine gun us down with compliments. You guys yeah. are good looking. And we come back and we're like, we love, we love this person. I don't know why, but something about her, she needs to come back. Yeah. yeah. No one ever told me I was good looking. Yo, you, yes, she did. She said we're last good looking. Her. Actively last hitting on you both as a couple. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Thank you. Yeah. Not sorry. Not just that. Again, in a fucking heartbeat. You also always have this great energy where um, so many LA people, you, you, you're like, how, what's going on with you? And they list the five things that they can brag about oh. to you, and you're like, whatever. No. Not that, most <laughs> Wait, so you guys know each other already. I know you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're right. That's how we got her, because of Nikki. Oh, so you don't know him? No, I know him. Well, yeah, we, oh. we've interacted. We get along. Yeah. I, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. We have they a hot and cold relationship. Yeah, very, very. <laughs> you don't have anything to brag about? Uh, I took a great shit this morning. <laughs> awesome, those are good. What? Yeah. what Why are you so Hollywood? What determines a great shit? I think anything that doesn't require, like, you don't break a sweat. Mm. Oh shit, I don't. It's not the sound. Right. Oh. <laughs> I like it when like you force it and you can hear it hit the bottom of the toilet. Like it <laughs> How many fucking? <laughs> I'm fucking picture. Boom. Boom. Like, mm -hmm. It's one of these like. Boom ones like, like that. Like a fucking Chernobyl bomb. <laughs> Your yeah. shit punched the bottom she of the toilet. Try to. I try to change the shape of the poop once it hits the bottom of the toilet. How? Do you do it? He wants it, it comes to in and kind of like He wants it to look like the emoji. It's like a mushroom. <laughs> you ever have the <laughs> one that, <laughs> that like <laughs> gets stuck like on the Green Lantern of shitting. Who's Green Lantern? He shapes different objects. I guess so. You don't get nerd humor. Niche comment. <laughs> Nerd humor is very huge right now. Actually, you're the, you're actually the loser in this. Oh. So. Well, in the room, that would just be you. Too. In the room, it's <laughs> in the world, brother. Check the box office, okay? Right, Nerds took right. over. You guys I, lost. You haven't got it. People are out. out. Uh, I don't know. There's a war going on. I'm a nerd. The war's been going on for years. You never heard of, a, of attack of the nerds? Contact shit? with me when your fucking white fingers sticking up in the air. Oh, okay. oh you got white fingers too, pal. I do. Oh, all on the front. <laughs> Right? Fact check. We all got white fingers in the front. In the front, everyone's popped. I got red fingers. You can start claiming yeah. that shit. Cool. Those are We're all fingers. white on the palm side. Oh, Cassidy. Red palms. <laughs> Jess, shut up. They're strangely red. Why are they so red? What'd you do? He's a hot. I don't know. It's He's like hot. hot. Who fucking jigglers this morning? Time. He's Kool just really hot. <laughs> Here's our t Why do I have a bruise? <laughs> How do you even get a bruise here? I don't know. Oh, it's dirt. It's dirt. That's embarrassing. Oh. I'm a dirty girl. I was like, damn, you could bruise your palm. I did. Well, How is that bruise? dirt on your palm? I, I don't know. Uh, guys, I'm dirty. I haven't washed my hair since Saturday, but ladies, sometimes that happens, right? Really? I can oh. never do that. Really? The longest I can go is maybe three days. Maybe. But I think because oh, I have no. so much hair and it's thick. You're not greasy. I got, I don't know, I use a lot of dry shampoo. Cause my, 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 my girlfriend Jess, she doesn't shower sometimes her hair. Um, she's sitting over there. Jess, you better defend smells. yourself. Defend Amazing. Yourself. Okay, good. okay, good. That's what he always says, by All the right, way. All right, sit back down, yeah. Jess, sit back he down. He says that even in, in <laughs> private rooms. I know so she much about Jess Amazing. Dujo. Wait, how long can guys go without? Asian guys? Four yeah. hours, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Really? We stink. Yeah. Our hair don't oh smell that shit. Shit. It's no, it's sour ice. as fuck. I have to <laughs> I don't know about no, no. that. So, so we don't, so uh, the, the stereotype is we don't have some thinky, sweaty skin, but hair and fucking breath is dangerous. Yikes. But you also have no like body hair ever. Yeah, no. No. Look, I have more arm hair than both of y'all. Yeah, for sure. You're pretty furry. I'm furry, bitch. <laughs> I don't know why. You're normal. <laughs> Thanks, sis. My butthole kind of smells. <laughs> Kinda. I don't know anyone that doesn't have an <laughs> unsmelly asshole. Like a laugh track in this episode. You guys are we fucking are. cracking me up. This Wait. is where talking about whatever you want goes horribly wrong. This is the consensus is that you can go how many days without washing your hair as a woman? Zero. There's, that's a bullshit stereotype because I have really? the most oily hair of all time. You know what I just saw recently on, on Twitter that was is so disgusting? It was like this white people thing that on Facebook how they were it's saying. Yeah, me. I look right at Oh, I know what you're talking about. So they're saying that, that white people consider going to the swimming pool and going yeah. to the ocean as mm -hmm. a shower. Yep, as sure a bath. That's an absolute shower. That's nasty. You consider that a shower? No, no. but I think it's fine. I, I think it's 
What, what's the difference? I think so in Hawaii. Oh, oh yeah, Joe. <laughs> Joe considers the beach. Seven showered. days in Hawaii. Yay. There you go. I was in the pool three times a day. That's and that's probably yeah. like, taking I'm, all the chemicals me. out. Did no, you? Then, There's chlorine, girl. Jo like, Jess like, just killed herself off camera around? and everybody missed it. <laughs> no. Okay, good. Wait. Good. You would have given her Not disease. that time. <laughs> all right. No, but yeah, they were they were using that argument that the chlorine in the water disinfects all the germs, and I'm like, I think it's just a what person is thing. A shout. Yeah, they're just idiots everywhere. It's That's the yep. person thing. It's just it's a water. What? How, what do we define soap? as a shower? A shower is water. soap and water. Well, then I don't shower ever because I barely use soap. Why? Because yeah. I don't have any. You are fucking alluring, dude. I'll use some some um. I'll use some shampoo. What do you use on your vagina? I use shampoo. Too. Shampoo. You shampoo, is it like Me too. Uh, you got that much hair down there? No. <laughs> I keep it, I keep it nice and tight. Then why do you use shampoo then? It's like the Illuminati down there. Hey, hey. Why do you use shampoo That's then? That's big. <laughs> you don't have to buy soap. Like the I do the same. Okay, let me guess. This is how you shower, right? You first get the shampoo, you get in your hair, and you're like, I got extra soap. Let me just yeah. move it and down. You're just like, I do the same boom. shit, girl. Why the fuck are you guessing? Just say <laughs> you're not guessing. You're speaking from personal bad. experience. But then three minutes ago, he's like, I smell so bad. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, dude, put it together, bro. Well, did you also see the thing that was big on Ellen, where it was saying some people don't wash their legs in the shower? Huh? That's weird. You don't scrub your legs. Sometimes I get you scrub your legs. Yeah. Yes. Every time you're in yeah. the shower? And your feet, yeah. in between your toes. I do every toes. inch of my body. I'll do that, but I think because girls, we shave, so it's either like I'm either shaving, AKA getting shampoo all over my legs, or I'm not. Do you exfoliate? Sometimes. It's like gotta be a special occasion. You know what I'm saying? The only when you shave, you're scrubbing off the dirt anyway with go. the razor. There you go. <laughs> I would be nervous that Joe has your back on this. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Okay, let me tell you something, okay? Stick to your guns, Kelsey. Yeah, no, got there. I am who I am. I am one of those people that skip the legs sometimes <laughs> because I'm washing and I get tired during the calf part and I go, well, you know what? My feet's gonna get dirty again anyway. Wow. You probably pee in the shower too. Yep. I sure do. You don't do that? I do. Oh, Everyone I do does. Yeah. I don't do it since I became a homeowner. <laughs> what? That's right. I'm not going to do that. My, I'm, to value my own property? No fucking way. I'm all about the value. Here's the thing. I used to pee, poop, everything in the shower until I bought a home. Poop? <laughs> you take a shit in the shower and then you stomp it down the drain. <laughs> Cheese no. What else are you supposed As to do? Pick it up and then no. throw it? As a dirty, fucking, filthy renter. I, I totally did. pictured toes just smashing into... <laughs> it's what? like a fucking ground beef grinder thing. <laughs> what, what, what's your question on my poop, on my poop story? Aren't there two options? Like, the first one is you do what you do, the fucking shit grinder. The other one is you pick it up and then throw it in the toilet. The third option is why don't you just sit on the drain? Can I just say... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would have just you sat on it. Can I just say I wish I was talking to Barbara Walters right now about this? <laughs> Well, Barbara. <laughs> Why don't you just unscrew the drain, so. the the drain thing, and just have it open, so then your shit can. If you're gonna do all that, <laughs> yeah, the power why don't you just fucking walk? Why didn't I do that? <laughs> I knew, I knew a guy I dated. Every time he took a shit, he had to shower right after. It's like he that's clean. Even, he didn't even wipe. He would just why get straight in the shower and like. Ew. That's a clean guy. That's clean oh, though. Wow. But, but it's extra. The shower was disgusting. It is though. pretty extra. Damn. Or get you those know. wipes. Yeah. You use the uh, St. Ives, St. Ives, the pH balance pussy cleaner. Oh, is this stuff? a brand deal? No, but because you said shampoo, right? I thought girls use the, uh... St. Ives is bad for your poo Yeah, you're not supposed to. It fucks with your flora. Mm -hmm. I thought they're supposed to use that pH balance. Are you talking about the apricot scrub, dude? <laughs> That's no. St. Ives apricot scrub that got, like, There banned. is a product. Don't use that shit on your vagina. What are you talking about? Like, there's no, there's vagina soap. Bad. Isn't there vagina I'm soap? using <laughs> shit on your vagina. <laughs> Vagina soap out there. They're kind of soap, but you're not supposed to use it. And honestly, what? Why would you what say, you like, what's right the difference right between right? vagina soap and regular? It's Nothing's got, ever happened to my fucking That's vagina. That's what they say. Nothing's ever happened to your vagina. Never. You've never had a yeast infection. No. You've never had a UTI. No. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I, did. I had a UTI. Liar. I had a UTI before. Everyone has. Yes, but I've never had a yeast infection. But the, what's the, the only difference is one is you, you just got a little dirt in your cooch, and the other one is is overgrowth of bacteria. Yeah. So one's internal, one out. I'm not trying to defend one or the other. I'm just saying what I've had and hadn't had. Right. But I do use that fucking the fucking vag soap. Oh, and that's how you. What's clean that vag soap? <laughs> Sweet Harmony. <laughs> there's a there's a name for it. What does it matter? No wait, I think it's Eve. Eve. Say Eve. Um, have you ever seen the the pH pat, uh, pH strips you can swab your puss with to what? see your pH level? I just no. discovered these and I keep them like in every 
Why? Why? You How do you control you... your pussy pH like a fish tank? Why do you need to know your pH? Is there animals? Yeah. Like... I'm a nasty bitch, okay? No, I keep like... my pH is uneven all the time. When you find out that it's uneven, how do you control it? Do you put like chemicals in there? So many questions, so little time. It's like it's like um it's like a, a, a chemistry test. You literally yeah. stick it up your cooch in, in the second hole, not the first, and then you pull it out and you compare in the it. The second hole? Wait a minute, like your asshole? No. No. Okay, oh, but I know, but you said the second hole. For me, the, yeah, wait, the no, pee no, hole no, is the first hole. that's number no, one. Vulva vagina, vulva, vagina hole yeah. and then ball. Oh. So and then you compare it vulva. Oh you, then you compare it to the colors on the the box, and if it's light yellow, that's good, but if it's like dark brown, it's just pH water. is off. That's how you test your pool, too. <laughs> it's exactly like that. And my fish tank. What do you do after if it's off? If it's off, you fucking shove a fucking boric acid pill up there, you oh. cranberry juice it, or you you can tell if you're getting a UTI I, or a yeast wow. infection. So sometimes you're like, like damn, I'm acid. Yeah, I'm like, I got an acid pussy. Don't stick anything that in That shit's acidic. Oh, my basic pussy need to fucking get up more acid. We have black hole sizzling where you I've, exper I've experienced that before. Acidic acid pussy? pussy? Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, where it smelled like, it smelled like Duracell batteries. <gasps> what? Very strange. Very strange. Wait, did you like how? What'd you do, put charcoal in there? No, I didn't do anything. Oh. I got the fuck out of it. Like a battery, you know that. Uh, the yeah, it's like that. You lick it and you're like, yeah. ah, ah. You licked it and it, and it bit your tongue. <laughs> no, it had that. It had that fucking like, it you know. It tingled. Well, I don't know. I've never like, seen you make that face. It had like electrical charge to it, kind of thing. I think, but I think pussies <laughs> might taste pennies. like pennies when you know. But when it's nice, I like it. Period. Yeah. I like it. You like I penny pussy? <laughs> no, no, no. I like regular taste. Some people love. I was just at a video where we talked about Munch and Box on the period, and I was like, not for me, but I support it. Apparently, a lot of people fucking Munch Box on on period. period. Mm -hmm. See, I think that's a humiliation thing. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Oh, that's crazy. Some people like it. It looks like old what? Robitussin that was left outside. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so what are you doing with your Robitussin? <laughs> that shit's expensive. Dude, this guy's leaving his Robitussin in the sun, bro. Oh man, that's dangerous. And then he's looking at it, he's like, that's interesting. <laughs> Just for life, you know? Y'all ever robo tripped like in high school? Yeah. No. I forgot, we're the like druggies. <laughs> cool. What's robo so trip? Did you do triple C's? Well? Uh, yeah, kind of similar. Oh, okay. Robitussin has this fucking camera. It's, 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 I forgot the name of it, but it's similar to the effects of E. Whoa! Oh. Do we have the same thing? <laughs> I thought it was like Womp Womp Land. Womp Womp like Land. If you, but you gotta drink a lot of it. You gotta drink like the whole Isn't bottle. like the scissor yeah. that yeah. they made? Yeah, it's a lot of bottle. I don't know if it's the same chemical compound, but they stopped selling this in Robitussin. I think they changed the ingredient. Dude, I remember high schoolers getting Robitussin getting fucked up. I remember that too. Yeah. Yeah. I never heard of that. I just felt like it was too much liquid for the amount of you fun. You have to drink a fuck ton. You have to drink the whole bottle. What's yeah. triple C's? Cause I know I've done Those that. Those are pills. Yeah, yeah, but like what's in it? Like what oh, does the C stand, stand for? What does it look like? Caffeine, caffeine, cocaine. I used to get bored as fuck at my old office job and I would pop a Benadryl, or we called it popping Bennies, and that was pretty sick because you feel like you're underwater. <laughs> I just go to sit there and then when the phone rings, like you're just like. Because <laughs> you're just in another planet. Yo, and a Benadryl will knock a, a large man out. Oh, I, yeah. I could only take one. Just and what is Benadryl supposed to do? It's allergy. I have no fucking idea. Antihistamine. Allergy. But it knocks you the fuck That's out. What happened? Now I'm drowsy and it makes you sleepy. I don't understand. No. That's I exactly what I took when we went swimming with the sharks, and I was knocked out the rest of the day. That's the most not. dangerous Wait, situation to take a Benadryl. Dangerous shit on a daily, girl. <laughs> Yo! Did you make it in the water? <laughs> no, so I took it because I didn't want to get um, boat sick, seasick. Yeah. And then I made it throughout the whole activity, but then afterwards... You could have been floating fish. Like allergy medicine uh, to not get seasick? Have you not heard of Dramamine? <laughs> That's the one I took. Oh, Dramamine, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, you uh, took the wrong really thing. Really? I thought you popped Benny's to fucking go shark <laughs> fishing. I took that one. That's, That's so dangerous, <laughs> you could have drowned. I took acid reflux to make sure I don't get fucking seasick. <laughs> I took my fucking Pepto Bismol before I go on this fucking boat trip. Imagine like doing shrooms the and then putting on a fucking snorkel. But it was non-drowsy. And I did it, like, I, I knocked out the whole fucking day. I have heart palpitations, so I took cough syrup. I know, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I mixed it up. Doesn't this have like a fuckload of caffeine in it? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Matcha? Good kind of caffeine. Yeah, the good but one. It's clean you don't though. Crash. It's a clean yeah. caffeine. What does that even mean? You don't get a crash. Don't ask too many questions. All right. <laughs> Enjoy that. I just know I prefer the taste and just how I feel afterwards. It tastes like something I've had before. Matcha has, um, so you, it, you're you taking the whole leaf. I'm gonna get a little nerdy, but here's the thing. It releases the there's, caffeine there's very one, dude, slow. Go. 
so it doesn't hit you like hard and fast like coffee does. Are you supposed to stop drinking it after like 5 p.m.? Probably, you're probably gonna be up. Up Hello. to you. Whatever. But it's not this ju jittery, crazy up. caffeine. It's more like a awake caffeine. Oh, I like yeah. that. It depends on how uh, caffeine tolerant you are too. Are you supposed um, to Well, I used to do a lot of Coke, but then I stopped, and yeah. then I don't drink coffee. So what is that? So I don't really have caffeine like ever anymore. Math. But I used There's to do a lot of Coke, so I feel like I... No. Oh, like you would have high tolerance. So yeah, I like could just uppers. like... What's the coolest surface you've snorted cocaine off of? Oh, someone's oh. asshole or dick. Really? For sure. Oh. I'm from Florida. How do you keep it on the dick, though? Well, me up here. I feel like it would fall off I the never dick. did coke. I smoked crack. You <laughs> never? You went straight from, like, weed to crack? I, coke wasn't popular when I was young. <laughs> what? Were you born in the 60s? Jesus. No. It's expensive, too. It's expensive, yeah. Yeah, that's, like, for rich kids, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even actually sat there and looked at coke as a kid. I've always seen meth and crack. What is the what does it look like? Crack? And yeah. Meth. Shards it, of glass, right? Well, meth looks like um, MSG. Have you seen like no. that? The crystals, little. Yeah, it looks like crystals. Like sugar rock candy. Did you watch Breaking Bad? Isn't that what? Yeah, rock candy. Isn't that Breaking Bad? Yeah, but they did their own like version yeah. of blue. It's oh. usually like yellowish. Well, it was initially before he did the blue thing. Like How is it coming off crack? Crack looks like uh, soft white rocks, but it, it looks like kind of beigey. And it, was it hard to stop? Oh, I never got addicted. That's it's it's crazy. Like the things that are highly addictive, like I would smoke it with my friends and not ever want to smoke again. Mm. Yeah. I heard something interesting yesterday. My friend who's gay and he's like super duper in the gay community because he's gay, uh, was talking about how there's like a code word that you put in your grinder profile if you do meth, which is you capitalize the letter T in your profile. So if you're like, likes like to tweet. party, and then like a capital T, that means, you, that means you do meth. So how, then do, when, how do you even pass this information around? Because I saw a meme on Twitter about it, and I was like, hey, gay person that I know, what does this mean? And he was like, oh, because there's a lot of meth in the gay community, and I was like, I didn't think I knew that. So they party all night and have meth sex? Yeah, and so what, what's meth sex? I don't Having know. Having sex on meth. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, yeah. obviously. I got doing your back. very fast. Probably doing it very quickly. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think um, when I did those things, like, my friends got super hooked. And I, I smoked, uh, my, my first time really smoking crack was a 48-hour binge. We just kept going and going. And then we ran out, and then the dealer was asleep. So then we just went to downtown LA in the middle next to uh, MacArthur Park. And they were just looking around saying, Coca, Coca. And I was like, this is kind of racist, just saying that out loud to Mexicans. And then a guy comes up to our car. He was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. And he just fucking grabbed some money, threw some stuff in the car. They call it like, Perico. Oh, well, he was Perico. like, Coca, Roca, Coca. Yeah, yeah. And you would just trust any old willy nilly on the street? I mean, I was like, 17 and then I was in the car full of guys that were already experienced like crack mm. Crack stars. You know they do that in you Vegas now? Stars? Huh? Yeah, they do that in Vegas now. What? You know the on the sidewalks where they're passing out the naked pictures of chicks? Yeah, there's people just yelling random shit too like like hey, drugs? Coke, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, and when you pass them they'll be like hey, yeah, like oh girls shows you want crack and I'm like Yep, sir. Yeah. Is it titties or crack? On the fucking street. <laughs> I was with my dad. Wow. He was just yeah, yelling random yeah. shit. Yeah. Would you guys ever do drugs with your parents? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. You would? I just would my mom out. Because I need to see what my, who my dad really is, because I think he built up this fake person over the last 60, 70 years. I just want to know who he really is on the You should end. do ecstasy with him. That'd be ecstasy? That'd be dope. That'd be so tight. With your parents? Hell yeah. yeah. You guys should be massaging each other all night, talking about your life. Right. I would do <laughs> And doing that. I think I need to have an intervention with my family, because they're so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really need to, I really want to like just sit him down and be like you guys are so fucking boring What are we gonna do about this shit? Do something. Yeah, right. I'll murder I'll, or I'll something. Though, like, I mean dude They just fucking right. sit there and like Breathe. everyone just sort sort of is breathing in the room and like looking down and like so what's up? And you have the same conversation 14 times in a row and where are you from? Um, San Diego. Just you even talking about them is making me bored. Yeah. You so not you man. should bring over shoots and ladders or something I'm gonna make it oh, worse. Cards Against Humanity Parents love that because they think it's just so raunchy. Right? That's true. They think it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> they think it's like they're doing E. Yeah, no, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is your family born? Uh, no, God, no. No, no, no. My my family's insane. But we're from Florida. So she like, told us, remember? Yeah, what's it's normal. Right. Yeah, your dad's a preacher, right? Or you're no. no. My grandpa. My grandpa is a scam artist 
creature. He's not doing so hot. He's in the hospital. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable. I get it. Oh. I do that. No, he'll be fine. You're, you're in a room full of suppressors. Good. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah.